All right, now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. Hi, girl. It's yours, birdie. Oh, thank you, love. <laughs> hey, Yuns. Welcome to the range. My wife and I are going to do a training session, and we're breaking in her new uh, Bravo Concealment holster and Bravo Concealment mag carrier, which is a little on the tight side. So here we go. Uh, and then go ahead and put it in your holster, and you're just going to practice drawing it so it's down hard, up and out. And it's and the motion is the motion is support hand okay. is here in a safe place in a fighting stance, mm -hmm. and it's up and out. And when the gun comes up, your support hand meets it about here. Okay. You push it out in front of you, and I want you to practice put you, putting your finger on the trigger and squeezing halfway back. Okay. Because I want you getting used to the wall on that trigger, and that trigger doesn't have much of a wall. And the economy of motion is very important in this. It, it's up, out, full. Yeah, and my hand met me too fast, or too uh, far forward. There is a lot to this. Okay. Remember I told you, like, we're, we are now getting just past that little scratch on the surface. We are now actually getting into the trench a little bit for okay. handgun. Right. I've told you guys many times, handgun has a lot of variables to it. We are now getting into the nitty gritty of things. The motion. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, reset. <laughs> the motion, and you don't actually have to pull the trigger all the way. The motion from here is is like this, not that. So it's up, out, and straight up. Okay. Good. <laughs> Finding the dot isn't, you know, with yeah. my silly. You have to go like this. this. Yeah. And then holster back. You don't have to pull the trigger for this one. Okay. And then this, this hand stays here, right between, right. right at the top of your chest, okay. when you go to holster. Okay. Don't want to pull my hand off, right? Exactly. <laughs> I like your hands. They're pretty. All right. All right. Cool. None of this is fast. I want you doing it smoothly. She's remembering to place her thumb at the back of the slide so that when the, when the go ahead, keep going, so that when the gun goes into the holster, it doesn't do this and take the weapon out of battery. She's placing her thumb here so when it goes into the holster, everything stays locked in. Oh, what I didn't remember was putting my here. So there's a lot. <laughs> there's there a lot is a remember. bunch to this. Do a few more reps until your arms are burning. Just what you wanted to hear, right? <laughs> no. A few more reps until your arms are burning. So we got. So I need to worry, work on holding the gun when I get it out of the holster. Yeah, holster. I'll show you where it matters. Okay. Look at you putting your support hand where it goes. The most important point of getting your gun out is this moment right here. And you jam down hard. Okay. And this hand finds a tappy place here. Okay. And then the gun is yanked out violently hard and fast. Yeah. And remember, it's... Yes, I know. Yeah, I... Which I know for a woman, it's, it's the core thing. So, I cut you off. What were you saying? Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, no. You, no, you did it. You did it. Okay. You, you jammed down hard onto the holster, mm -hmm. and it is a, it's a hard, fast up and out. And it doesn't help that my jeans have a lot of elastic. <laughs> well, it's, she is wearing my belt because <laughs> our son has managed to... Abscond with mine. I may have to edit that out because he does watch. Luke. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> You'll love it. <laughs> yeah, so she's wearing oh, my Groove Life bad, belt. <laughs> She's wearing my Groove Life belt with the thing pulled in tight. <laughs> my belt is all the way back to here. Well, yeah, at least you're not support, my size. Right? Praise God for that. Gosh, that's a big woman. You are not. That's what I do. We have fun out here, can you tell? Yeah, we do. Alright, so now that I've got this part, I've got to work on. That. Yeah, and when you do this, uh -huh. your your body is ending up doing that. Okay, so you want to be you want to be one foot in front of the other. Okay. Doesn't matter which one it is. Figure out which one works for you, so that you're in a position of power and balance. Okay. Yeah, that dot, that dot's a booger. Yeah. I may change your sights to these lower sights. 
because I have it. Do you have it? Mm -hmm, I have it. Notice how those sights are out of your way? And those sights don't draw your attention? So if you want, I can switch over to those sites and let some lucky person have some trigicon tritium sites for almost nothing. Okay. I have it. I have it. Every time we pass a gun to each other, we say the words, I have it. Because the last thing you want to do is pass a gun to someone, assume they've got it, they don't have it, you release it, and a thousand dollars goes to the ground. Actually, no, I think it's more than that. Yeah, remember how I told you it doesn't matter which foot ends up in front of the other. It yeah. doesn't matter because if you're shooting while walking, right foot, left foot, it's irrelevant. Right. So the whole, oh, you got to stand. No, screw that. Just stand Standards, in balance. Yeah. This thumb up. No. That one. Right. And then this hand goes canted forward onto the gas pedal. Okay. Right there. That, ma that matters. That matters. Yeah. Hold what you got. Okay. We know this gun is empty. The reason this matters is this. Uh -huh. You have to be in balance. And this hand position keeps the front end of this from popping up on you. Gotcha. Because that input is going to throw you around. Yeah. Even though it's just a 9 mil, it, you know this, it pushes around just enough to get your attention. Yeah. Have you noticed how once we've included the holster into the mix, all of a sudden this goes different from just picking it up off of a barrel? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's entirely different. Load up when you're ready. Be mindful of the fact that this gun is really close to your face when you're passing out. You're passing it forward, pushing it out rather, not passing it, pushing it out. And the last thing you want to do is to be pulling the trigger when a gun is here. Sure. Because it gets really spicy. There's a lot to it. Yeah. You're doing great, honey. The biggest thing is you're listening and accepting instruction. <coughs> All right, load up. Make it so. <laughs> Remember that? Yes, I do. She sent me a meme one day with <laughs> with someone had taken it from Stephen King's It, the clown, sitting at a sewing machine, sitting on the bridge of the. Ah, did you see that? Yeah, you I did. Didn't you did. See it, and I pulled it yep. out with my. <laughs> Um, yeah, she, she's figuring it out. Nope, don't ride no, the slide. Don't, okay. Don't ride. Oh, it's, oh, it, just, watch, it just needs watch. to be it's, a little it's, it's a rubber band. It's, ah, gotcha. So it, it isn't this, it's that. Otherwise, the optic gets you. So you pull back and then release. Yeah, okay. And that's okay, because it's better to get the practice. Holster before you bend over. Okay. Thumb? Very good. Can now you are dealing with a hot handgun, yeah. so... The reason for the, for this holster is, this is a part of your body that catches around as opposed to the arteries in the middle. This we can deal with. Yeah. All right, um, so anyways, it is sitting at a sewing machine, sitting on the bridge of the Enterprise, and Captain Picard is standing beside behind him doing this, and she goes, what was it you said, what, what is it, or, or, or? I don't know, I just assumed She you said this to right me, and I'm away. like, like she been drinking and I realized make it so yeah, it number it. one it's or yes yeah, make yeah. it so that was the thing make it so oh <laughs> really make it so that's nice all right shoot the thing okay so draw get in your fighting stance draw get it out there find your dot cleanly and mm -hmm. push that and see where all the bullet hits are on the edge yes so I want you to shoot in that area basically the outer the outer half of that lollipop is what you're working off of. So okay. instead of aiming at a six inch lollipop, you're aiming at three inches of it okay. to get a good violent rotation. Okay. Thumb. Huh. Thumb on the gas pedal. There, there you go. That was a miss. <laughs> what did I do? Flinch. No, okay. I most often miss on my first shot too. Don't worry about it. This is what we're here for. Okay. Whenever you're ready, make it so. Now remember 
Was it, we figured out you're cross dominant, right? Correct. Okay. So put your chin to your shoulder like that. No. Just that yeah. one. Yeah, because yeah. you're trying to get your left eye yeah. behind your right hand. Yeah. So you're going to basically do the Bruce Willis. You're going to do this. Okay. I'm still a little jittery too, which is why I was like that. That dot was going all over the place. What, what was it doing again? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love you. I love I love you. Be a and for you. Honey, you're doing. You are doing fine. <laughs> you are doing just fine, sweetheart. This is different than picking a gun off a barrel. Yes, it is. Thumb up. Oh, that's right. Right. See this gap? Yes. As soon as you do that, that gap fills, and your gun no longer has the ability to do this on you. Because if you're doing this, look at the gap I'm creating. See that gap? Yeah. Now watch. The gap goes away. Good. Do I do a whole Do it twice. Do it twice. Good. All right, draw, pop, pop. Okay. And you want to do it as fast as you can. In fact, I'm going to grab the shot timer. Oh, goodness. No, no, the shot timer is actually for you on this one. Okay. So that it, so that it becomes a metric that you, that you can work with. Oh, that makes sense. It's like a baseline, right? Yeah. This is literally my first time ever having a gun holstered. To yeah, and she is doing very well. <laughs> Okay, so there is no part time. All this is going to be is you're going to hear that. Okay. You're going to draw. And you're going to go pop, pop, and that okay. was three point three two okay. total. Yes. Trigger straight back to the rear. There we go. Isn't it funny how just adding the holster and the mag carrier to the mix is like, well, crap just got mildly real. Which is why we're going to get you at the TDI and we're going to get some knowledge in you. All right, do it again. Because right. that was an abysmal 22.38 seconds. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell were you doing? I was just setting a, a makeable. I got a solid shot. baseline from here on out. Mm. <laughs> Support hand. I love you. I love you. All right. Shooter ready. Do, do I stop that for a minute? What do I say in response to shooter ready? You can either just do this because I'm watching you, so you can just do this, or okay. you can go. Mm -hmm. Where you can literally go ugh if you want. <laughs> I just need to know that you heard the command or okay. that you've heard the question. Shooter ready? And I just need a and you're acknowledging. I wasn't sure if there was yeah. some kind of like technical. No, you just you can just go like this. Okay. Support hand. Shooter ready. <laughs> Don't you hit okay, that's an inside hit. Go ahead and holster up. I want to show you where it hit. Come here. Your, yeah, your bullet was, was no, I, no. I would almost, I would almost guarantee it was probably that the bullet split in half. So it's just enough off to get it to go in the middle. Not to mention these are brand new lollipops. Yeah. And they still have the polymerized paint coating on them. Okay. So they don't spin. Unless you really get them out on the edges. So imagine, look, imagine that the only thing you've got to work with is this. Because mm -hmm. you do not want to hit, pick someone, mom, dad, the kids, Sarah. whatever. So <laughs> imagine you do not want you do not want to hit Sarah. So okay. you wanna you wanna shoot the just the outer edge of that turd to get him off. Yeah. We're turd plinking. Get ready? Where's your face go? Good. 
That's a good hit. You notice how violently it swung over? That's a good outer edge hit. Because let me show you, um, inside, does that. Down range, down range, down range. And then outer does that. It's, it's the difference between this or that. All right, do it again. We're doing Orvalin course today with the GS17. But first she's doing oh, some more. you didn't work. tell me we were using the GS17. Oh yeah, we're doing the GS17. Okay. Actually, we're gonna do both. You're gonna do handgun and GS17. Okay. Shooter ready? Here I am just like looking at you. I like looking at my wife, what can I say? Shooter ready. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And there are so many parts to this, but you're, you're figuring it out. Good. All right, drop your mag, drop your mag. Get the gun up in your workspace, which is here. Okay. So drop your mag, no, 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 no. put it back in place. Watch, let gravity, let gravity work for you. Okay. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, just, drop it, drop it. Just drop it to the floor? Yeah, just drop it. And while this hand is going for your mag, up and out, and in, and then, and remember that one sticks out. That one sticks that. out really, yeah. yeah. That one sticks out really long because it's a 21 rounder versus a 17. Yeah. And now you can just sweep with your thumb on the on the slide catch down. This. Down, yeah. And now you're back in battery. Okay. Are we gonna do the timer again? Um. Yes. Shoot ready. Yes. Try to keep your eyes open during shooting. Okay. Try to train yourself to fight past the flinch. That was sad. I'm putting my... That was good. You've actually cut your time by two thirds. <laughs> 11 seconds! 11 has a little like 30 something. <laughs> 30 seconds. Honey, it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. You're new to this. Yeah. Shooter ready! Support hand. There you go. You are getting consistently so much better. Shoot ready. Yes. Oh, that dot. I know, right? All right, draw your gun again. I want to show you something. This hand mm -hmm. is doing all the work, well, almost all the work. Yeah. So this hand should be very tight on the gun. Okay. And this hand should be very supple on the gun. Okay. Because this hand is doing very fine work. This hand is doing brutal work. Okay. So your, your support hand is just death gripping that gun and your shooting hand is like literally lying on top of your support hand okay. and it's doing the fine work of isolating index finger from thumb and pulling straight to the rear. Do that. I am not of the notion that the trigger pull should startle you. That's bull. You need to be in control of the gun because there are some people who will tell you, let that trigger pull start you. So I want you to just draw and I want you to just point the gun. And I want you to just gently squeeze, 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 squeeze. And it should surprise you. Oh shit. This is a gunfight. He's trying to kill you. <clears throat> like right now, this is not a hostage situation. Let's, let's not treat it as that. Let's treat this as a guy that is here and he's moved there. He's just done this on me. That's all it is. He's trying to kill you. You're trying to kill him. This is target fixation, which is why we're using optics. Target fixation is doable because you're looking at the threat through a target. I'm sorry, you're looking, you're looking at the threat through an optic. You no longer have to do front sight, rear sight, equal height, equal light. That's out now. And these are fiber optics. They will never turn off. Mm -hmm. So now it's looking at the threat through the optic, issuing commands if you have to, or shooting if you have to.
it's there are so many variables right now that are now sitting over there in my mind that I don't have to even address with you because these guns are tricked out with really nice triggers and really good optics and this is the standard for every gun in our home even the new one is now set up like this and the GS 17 and the other one in the recover 2020 thing all the guns in our home are 17s 9 millimeters with optics Yeah, and, and it does that when I spray. You know, you'd think being Puerto Rican, I would know better because my people know spray paint. Boop, 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 boop. It's a good joke. In your card. <gasps> your Puerto Rican card. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were asking for a man card. You no, best you didn't not. Claim it. It was best a man not. Thing. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, let's do a few more and get out on the uh, on the overland okay. course. Because we got to go have lunch. Get ready! Yes. Hang on. What the hell was that? Go back. Do it again. <laughs> I Did don't I? know! <laughs> I do not scream at my wife ever, which is why when I raise my voice here, it actually throws her for a loop. Oh, I was laughing. Okay, when you come up, you did. You did this. Ah, gotcha. And so it needs to be out. up, out, and straight out. Okay. And, and the other reason is this. You do this on someone, they know you mean... Remember when I said to you, if I see someone doing this, you better get off my property, or a person going, get off my property. Which one is more threatening? Get this water. one, because yeah. you know what you're doing with the gun. Yeah. If you draw a gun and you point it straight out, that person, just by your actions alone, goes, don't want to screw with her. She knows what she's doing. So I'll tell you why I left the whole straight out thing is because I was worried so much about my left hand going on the gun. <laughs> It's hard to think about it is because when that gun is here <coughs> you walk up to the gun you visualize the gun you pick up the gun you point it and then your mm -hmm. support hand goes to it now you're having to do this you're having to introduce a gun into 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 a position that was previously comfortable yeah okay get ready yes Yeah, yep. that's that's perfectly normal. That flinch is perfectly normal. Some people call that the pre-ignition push. And what that really equates to is, hold your fist out in front of you. Your gun is doing this to you. Mm -hmm. In the moment yeah. that, yeah. when you reacted, you reacted to what you expected to be more input. Uh -huh. And when the input was no longer there, you did this. It's just normal, it's the way God wired us. People will rail in the comment section about that hot pockets. So, oh yeah, that's going to be on the screen. So, hot pockets. Everybody does it. I've seen professional shooters. Um, uh, there's a guy named Frank Proctor who is a grandmaster. I forget what the term is, but he's a world champion. Okay, and he did that one day in a class, and one of the guys was, "Oh, it's on your flinch," and he went like this. Yeah, he gave him the get off my lawn look, which was awesome. Shoot ready! Yes. That was not the greatest. Do it again. Reset. We haven't even covered. Look, look, look. Let me let me show you how far we still have to go watch. We haven't even covered how to do this technique. No, that's true, we haven't. Because watch. It's in the thumbs. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to cover with handgun. And which is why which is why I really want to get you to TDI for handgun one, two, and three. Shoot ready. <laughs> that was lame. Oh Lord. Okay. Baby, you're doing honey, you're doing great. You are doing great. I watched the last video, I don't think I watched this one. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, honey. Shoot ready! Yes. Don't yank it. Good. Good. Deep. One more time, one more time then. All right, last one. Yeah. 
attention does that to you. Yeah. I think I'll be giving you a massage tonight. <laughs> Shooter ready. I like steel because I don't even have to look at the target. If it moves, you hit it. If it didn't, you didn't, right? It's just, it simplifies the job of the instructor. All right. All right, face the camera. Tell us what you think you did right, what you think you did wrong. Oh, goodness. Wow. How do you feel about today's training session? I learned some things. That looks good. Um, You're doing well. I think it just becomes muscle memory on the know lots of practice with the draw point getting the hand grip right is uh, I don't know, you know it just all feels awkward still you know, everything I have to think about I don't know that eventually just becomes second nature or whatever automatic tell folks what you do for a living I am a speech language pathologist so I work a lot with automatic muscle memory so I'm very aware of that and understand the concept of <clears throat> committing purposeful movement into automatic movement, yep. which is what I do every day. Yep. And that's why I wanted everyone to know what it is that you do for a living, because she understands intrinsically muscle memory. And some people Especially say there's fine, no such thing as muscle fine memory. Motor. Muscle yeah. memory. Fine motor. Fine yeah. motor. All right. So I uh, hope you guys got something from this video. Um, my wife, uh, we are now in summertime for her. and. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm enjoying having my wife out at the range um, because she finally has more control over her schedule. So um, we're going to try to do several training sessions throughout the summer, and we're going to share them with you guys. As always, thank you so much for coming out with us. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one. Bye.